Hi, I'm Gina Schuyler, and I oversee careers and community partnerships for Grays Lake District 127. I serve both Grays Lake Central and Grays Lake North students. The Zoom that I wanted to bring to you today talks about career pathways as a reminder, but also really beginning to have you think about your courses that you're about to select during course selection and maybe putting some meaning behind the courses that you're about to choose. So today's presentation is about career pathways and what to think about as you are choosing your classes for next year. Career pathways by no means is asking you to choose a career um, as a freshman or even a sophomore, but we do want you to start thinking about areas that might be of interest to you, areas that you might want to explore more, but then as you get into your junior and senior year, really identifying what you're doing to prepare yourself for the world after high school. And that world could be entering the world of work. It can be a two-year degree. It can be a four-year degree. It really varies on the area that you're going into, as well as your desires and your financial needs and, and your plans. So our job in Career Pathways is to provide you many different avenues for you to be able to explore your areas of interest while you were in high school. And we want you to have both a plan A and a plan B. Um, things that you think you're interested in and putting them in two buckets of, I like this career opportunity and I think I wanna learn more. So I'd like to know what classes are available to me with this, or I tried this class, I didn't like it. And I think I wanna go in a different direction. Both of those things are very healthy, but you, we want you to think about those as you are choosing your classes. As a reminder, we are a district that can endorse students uh, through the college and career uh, pathway endorsement framework. So if students go through a series of different events, um, first of which is creating an individual plan where they identify an area of interest. And again, I want you to stress, we are not asking students to choose their career pathways or their areas of career that they're going into right now. But we do want them to focus on a pathway so that when they are choosing classes, they're choosing them with purpose and not just taking classes, um, you know, blindly out of a curriculum guide. Um, so the blue area is identifying um, a pathway of interest. And then the yellow is taking courses that are aligned or have sequential instruction with that. And then the green We've talked about this a lot this year where we're wanting you to apply what you're learning in these classes to the world of work. And that's a lot of what our internship and career exploration coordinator has been putting out for the district um, this past year in doing all of the activities where she's bringing our community partners into the building, taking students out to do site visits so that they're able to take a peek at what's happening in their classes and applying it to the world beyond uh, the classroom or the physical walls of our school. Some reminders of items that we have exposed students to is all students uh, embarked on an onboarding process with School Links. And in School Links, we are helping students identify a goal that they have for themselves um, during their high school process and start to think about life after high school where we talk about their future path, what a career in college or major training goal might be. We really wanna focus on the fact that depending on their career goal, um, either that college or that major training goal might come into play. There are certain careers that training or certification might be better for that suited career, or there's other careers that a college goal might be more suitable for that. But School Links is something that all students have access to, and through their Knights and their Rams blocks, uh, we will have more exposure to this and be um, creating more opportunities for students to utilize this profile. Students will also begin utilizing this platform with their counselor shortly. The other opportunity I wanted to remind all students and stakeholders of is our Path Will Explore. Our Path Will Explore is an opportunity for students to virtually explore different careers of interest. Um, all students and staff have access to this particular software where students can identify different areas of interest. Um, on the screen right now, we have vet tech, we have manufacturing engineer, executive chef, and an aircraft technician. These are updated and changed on a regular basis. So students can go into this software as often as they want to. Um, the software sometimes is utilized in classes such as personal finance um, or some of our um, exploration projects that are occurring through a variety of different coursework. 
um, or students on their own can do this. If they're just interested in learning a little bit more about what careers are out there in our area. This is a reminder of the student access. So all students can access career exploration through Pathful Explorer by using their D127 email. And this is the login by our different classes. Next, I wanna talk about some of our different pathways that we have for our students. Um, there are a variety of different um, careers or pathways that our students might be interested in. And we've broken them down into these nice pathways, kind of to navigate our course guide a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna go through a couple of them today for you to be aware of um, and to know how we have this laid out. So if you recall back to our endorsement process where we have students identify an area that they're interested in, then there's the courses that are aligned to that. Um, there's extracurricular activities that also enhance that exploration. And then we have different job opportunities that students might want to be aware of. Um, I'm a big believer that students don't know what they don't know. And where we want to, if they're interested in an area, let them know all of the different careers that could be in there. So our first one that we're going to talk about is our manufacturing, engineering, technology, and trades. This could be students that are interested in the trades, manufacturing, or what I call the little e of engineering, where it's more of the doing, not the designing, but the doing, the creating, the making. We have several classes that we would recommend for this. Um, in the in orientation introduction stage, we have exploring technology, metals or welding or metalworking. And then we have our intro to engineering, which is a dual credit opportunities. We have some graphic production, 3D modeling. And then we can continue on if this is an area that students are interested in to taking our uh, metalworking two, our woods one or two. And then in all of our areas, we do have an internship um, opportunity for our students. And then we also have a MEGA, which is Manufacturing Education and Growth Alliance. So our internship class allows our students after they've had an introduction course and a skill development course, they can be uh, enrolled into our internship class with our internship instructor. And in there, they are paired with a community partner. And the first three weeks of class, they are uh, learning about resume, job skill readiness, then the rest of the time they're headed out into the community to do their internship. And the last three weeks of class, they come back in and discuss as a class um, what they've learned, the differences in the different areas. So this is a great new opportunity that we have in our district. But again, this is the outline for the pathway of what we call manufacturing, engineering, technology, and trades. Our next one is our engineering pathway. In this particular pathway, this is what we call the Big E of Engineering, where we're focusing on the design and development more, where we have our Introduction to Engineering course. Um, we might also want to pair that with Exploring Technology as an orientation or an introduction. And then we have several dual credit courses for students to take in the engineering area, such as Principles of Engineering, 3D Modeling might be paired nicely with that. We have engineering design and development. And then we also have civil engineering and architecture. So there's actually four different classes to that sequence. Not all students can get through all four, but we want um, parents and students to know about the sequence that has all four. And then again, just as I explained before in the previous pathway, each of our pathways have the opportunity for our students to do an internship where they're going out into the community to learn how to apply the skills that they learned in class out into the real world to really make sure that this is something that they're interested in before embarking on that post-secondary opportunity. So our next pathway to highlight is our education pathway. Um, this is a pathway where often in meeting with students their senior year, where they've let us know that they're interested in teaching. And I go back and say, you know, did you know that we had a child development course? Did you know that we have a teaching practicum where you're doing an internship in um, the teaching field? And a lot of students say they, they don't. Um, so this really sparked uh, my desire to do this video is for families and students to know of the different pathway classes that we offer. 
Um, so our education and teaching pathway, this is for any student that might be interested in any aspect of teaching. And really look down here at all the job opportunities that that, that entails. Um, that might be an early childhood teacher, an elementary teacher, middle school, high school, a career and technical education teacher. Maybe you wanna be a social worker or a counselor. This is the pathway for you. So we have a child development course, uh, which allows students to have gateway credential, which is a credential that um, is needed within the field. We have a parent and family relations course. And then once you've taken child development, you can take that teaching practicum where students are able to learn how to do lesson planning. We partner them uh, up with a local school or a child uh, care center, child development center, for them, just like our internship class, to get that hands-on experience with students in a school setting so that they're able to determine while they're in high school, is this what I like? Um, what we've often had happen in these situations where maybe a student really thinks they want middle school, they've gone and done either an internship or they've done their teaching practicum, and then they learn, you know what, I'm not so sure I like middle school, I really like younger students. Um, so this is a, an opportunity, again, for us to put things in two buckets of I like it, I want to learn more, or I tried it, this is what I thought I would like, but here's what I learned as a result of taking this class. Um, in any of our classes, um, our world language seal of biliteracy is extremely important for our students to be able to highlight their ability to um, have those bilingual skills. And we like to teach our students also how to utilize those skills that they are learning. So again, any interest in teaching, this is the pathway. And these are the classes um, that we recommend that you take. Our next pathway is information technology, our computer support. So some suggestions here are taking our 3D modeling class, a web development. We have our mobile makers uh, courses, our app development, where students are creating um, mobile apps on their phone through the iOS system. Um, that actually is a two semester course and we recommend students sign up for both of those. And then there's the partnership that we have through several of our pathways with the Tech Campus where students can go into game programming, multimedia, cybersecurity, but we also have our AP computer science here in our district. So this offers a lot of different opportunities for students that are interested in the information technology area. Again, different ways for our students to look at job opportunities that fit in these areas and we want them to explore. This is where you take some of these different job opportunities and go back over to that Pathful Explorer, or to the school links to kind of uh, enhance this to be able to research on your own a little bit more about this. Our next pathway is health science. And this is for any student that is interested in any aspect, aspect of health science. And again, look down here at the different job opportunities, whether that be farm tech, nurse, doctor, uh, medical scientist, registered nurse, physician assistant, um, vet tech even falls into this particular area. We have several different science courses that are important to take in this, um, but we really wanna make sure students are taking that human anatomy course. We have a new course this year called sports medicine that has an embedded internship in there. And again, heading over to the tech campus for uh, a wide variety of health science courses that allow embedded internships, clinicals, um, as well as dual credit. So some of the courses they offer are medical assisting, certified nursing, EMS, and the biomedical sciences. So if this is an area of interest in you, or you think it is, during high school is a great time for you to determine whether your interest is something you really wanna continue studying. And by taking these courses, it allows you to answer that question. Yes, I like this, I wanna learn more about it, or I took it and I learned that this is not for me. Both of those things are acceptable and we celebrate both of those in high school. The arts and communication is an additional pathway. Some courses that we have that align with that are 3D modeling, which is a dual credit course. We have digital art, photography, and design. Um, there's one in two levels of that. We have sports marketing and entertainment where you're learning how to do some of that designing and using that in a marketing aspect. We have AP art and design. Again, for a creative aspect, our mobile makers, our mobile app development one and two would be a great opportunity here as well. And then at the Tech Campus, um, there is that opportunity to take multimedia design, which also offers additional dual credits. 
This is another area we can easily add that embedded internship here if that's something that you're interested in. But again, look at all the different job opportunities and the areas um, that you might wanna consider for this pathway. The next one is culinary and hospitality. Uh, this is someone that might want to cook, be a chef, be a baker, or be in the hospitality service. That might be catering, that might be uh, hotel management. So this is an area where we've got our culinary classes, uh, culinary one and two. We do offer the serve safe credential in culinary two. That is a credential that if any student would like to gain employment where food is being served in industry, this is a credential that they would need. Um, and we take care of that right in that class. We have our bakery and our, and our international foods. Um, then at that point, once they're done with the orientation and then the skill development courses, they can head over to the capstone and they can either do that through um, attending the tech campus for their final semesters, or they can stay here in our district and do a culinary hospitality internship. Again, that internship class is a class that they can enroll into here where they are paired um, with a local community um, business or community member where they are taking the skills that they learned in our orientation and skill development courses and then they're heading out into the community to really determine if this is something that they're interested and in, something that they like. Business and finance is another area that we can um, expose students to through our pathway. We have several different courses um, to offer students. We have our social media and technology, web development, sports marketing and entertainment, personal finance, we have accounting, entrepreneurship, again, our mobile apps, and then don't forget about that um, opportunity to do an internship. So there's a vast variety of different opportunities, depending on the area that um, you might be interested in business and finance. So this is the great thing about this is you get to explore several different opportunities to see again, if you like it or dislike it. As you're meeting with your counselor and you're about to pick out your um, courses for next year, if there's a pathway that we talked about um, in this recording that is of interest to you, you'd also wanna talk to your counselor about recommended course sequences that might enhance that. So we um, pre-populated for math here, some different uh, math aspects that these are the sequences that might be in appropriate order um, for students as they're coming in that can enhance several of our different pathways. But we'd want you to go to our district curriculum guide um, and in each of our core areas, um, there are recommended course sequences, um, but there are certain sequences that might be a little bit better depending on the pathway that you're interested in. And that's where conversations with your counselors would be key. So again, Course selection is coming up and we want you to pick your classes with purpose. We want you to think about uh, classes that you've liked um, in a pathway of interest and if you wanna take more of them or if you dislike something, kind of talk about or think about what did you dislike about it? Um, did you dislike the hands-on portion of it but you still like the terminology in it? And that's where we really wanna use School Links and Pathful Explorer to explore other avenues that, that might be helpful in that area. Um, there are several people who are here to help you with this process. Your counselors um, are here to help you through course selection. And so making an appointment with them um, to talk about next steps or classes that might be best for you. Um, any of our instructors are here to help and especially our department chairs. Um, and we've linked those tabs here. In both buildings, there is a college and career center that I think would be ideal for everyone to check out that on a regular basis has um, different colleges, careers, and, and information available to you. Dana Odo, our career exploration and internship coordinator is always available to help students who want to explore pathways more, as well as myself. Um, I oversee careers and community partnerships and oversee some of the different pathways. So again, you have many, many people in our district that are here to help you choose and talk about pathways. But our one ask in our district is choose your classes with purpose. Think about what you want to explore and take a peek at our different pathways because we do have courses to offer in that pathway and we want you to pick your classes with purpose.